Hello everyone, have you ever come across the term called spoofing? I mean have you got any idea what it is and how does it work? Well if you don't, then this video is for you. Ready? Let's get started. Spoofing is a technique where cyber criminals pretend to be trustworthy persons to gain the victim's trust and unauthorized access to a system and its private data. Basically, spoofing is any action where a scammer disguises their identity to bypass security measures so that they can access systems and infect them with malware, steal money, and otherwise cause damage and disruption. For example, a hacker emailing someone within a company pretending to be a boss, asking for passwords, or a digital transfer of funds. If the employee doesn't realize it's a spoofing attack, he may unintentionally give out private information or money to a stranger. So this is what basically spoofing is all about, making other people believe into thinking that they are communicating with a trusted person when they are not. Okay now, so how does spoofing work? Spoofing works by using various methods to convince the user to disclose sensitive information or to take a particular action, like clicking on the link or downloading a file that enables the cyber criminal to damage systems or steal money or data. To carry out a spoofing attack, malicious actors try to gain your trust and they count on making you believe that the spoofed communications are legitimate. Typically, they use the name of a big trusted company such as Amazon or PayPal which is enough to get victims to take some kind of action or reveal sensitive information. For instance, a fake email from Amazon might indicate a problem with a recent purchase which would motivate you to click on the link to learn more. If you are not careful enough, you might download malware or be directed to a fake login page where you unknowingly enter your username and password. That's what cyber criminals rely on, making you believe in their fake identity. So what happens when you click on the link? You unintentionally expose your personal information, download malware, end up with infected computer or even suffer financial fraud and identity theft. Even some professional cyber criminals use job offers email to try to trick you into transferring money into their accounts or paying for something you don't want. For example, you might receive an email, something like that, as you can see on the screen. A lot of time I receive emails, similar to this one. These are all scams, so be careful. Such kind of emails are the most common type of spoofing. There are other types of spoofing that are used by scammers to target victims, such as website spoofing, caller ID spoofing, SMS spoofing, DNS spoofing, ARP spoofing. GPS spoofing and so on. Now you must be thinking about how to prevent a spoofing attack, right? Well, there are many ways to protect yourself from spoofing attacks, such as turn on your spam filter, don't click on suspicious links, log in through a separate window, show file extensions in Windows, invest in a good antivirus program, check the URL of websites, set up two-factor authentications to protect your online accounts. Alright, so this wraps up today's video. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button.